Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. This is Richard coming to you with No Pants from the top of a roof today. And you might say, hey, hey Rich, why are you coming to you? Why are you coming to us with no pants from the top of a roof today? Well, I'm coming to you with no pants from the top of a roof today to talk about how I have solar powered my F-150 Lightning. Now we've got 2,000 watts of solar panels up here and I'm going to give you a tour and I'm going to show you exactly how it is solar powered. Now it is a slight overcast right now, but let me just open up uh, and see we are slightly overcast right now, but we've got over 2,000 watts of solar panels up here and we're getting in uh, 546 watts right now. But what I want to do is I want to show you how these are all hooked up. They're, they're all hooked up together uh, and they do all run into the bed of the F-150 Lightning. So uh, join along with me from here because we're going to go from here, trace the wires. It's just a red and a black wire, pretty high voltage, about 150 volts, going uh, from DC to AC back to DC to charge the F-150 Lightning. Um, join along. Uh, and you can see. Let's, uh, let's jump to the lightning, but you can see the solar turn right along as we jump to the F-150 lightning. All right, so before we talk about the truck's electrical system, let's talk about the panels themselves. Like I said, there's about 2,000 watts of panels. At a maximum, it makes about 2,200 watts. It's a bit overcast right now, so it's making five to 600 watts. They are producing DC power. They are in two strips. Uh, one is a 250 volt strip. Uh, they're all in uh, a series configuration, so the voltage goes up while the amperage goes down. One's in a 250 volt strip, and the others are in a 150 volt strip. And they do run directly to a to two different inverters, one in the back of the truck and one inside of the house. We're going to be taking a look at the inverter in the back of the truck right now, which is using about 1100 kilowatts, between 1100 and 1300 uh, watts, not kilowatts, 11 and 1300 watts to charge up. And they just come right down off this flat roof, which they're just sitting on. They're not mounted or anything like that. About half of these panels come from new and about half of these panels come from buying off craigslist and buying off uh, local marketplaces facebook marketplace from people who used to have them on their boats because they have a usable life of about 25 years so quite long usable life uh, and uh, quite high voltage even in this uh, slightly overcast environment we are in right now let's jump to how this all hooks into the truck all right, so we're back right next to the F-150 Lightning, and I want to show you just how simple this connection is. I'm actually holding the camera with one hand, and I'm going to hopefully connect and disconnect with the other hand. There are actually two connections that go into the truck. Only one's coming from the solar panels, but let's take a look. What I've got is I've got this little quick connect right here, and all this is doing uh, from solar panels, all solar panels have what's called an MC4 connection. So this is an MC4 connection going into a nice little quick connect right here, and I can just pull that out. And the solar is now disconnected, and you'll see if I go zoom in there, I will get, oh, oh, that was fun. Hope that got caught on video. Let's not get an explosion like that again. <laughs> but now it's connected. And then once it's connected, if I go to the application for the unit, which I'm going to show you, that's actually doing a lot of the work here. You can see that we are getting in 600 and... 22 uh, 614 watts from solar right now now that is not just from these panels i actually put some panels very recently up on the top of the truck so let's take a look at those panels. so there are some flat panels up on the top of the truck that are completely mounted to the roof of the truck that's another 200 watts worth of panels so you can see we're getting in that 572 watts 571 watts it is pretty high uh, pretty high electrical power as you as you saw via that now we also have a 110 volt system which we'll talk about in a minute for what that's actually doing but what i want to do is i want to go ahead and i want to jump in the bed of the truck and show you where this is all going and what it's all powering and how it comes back and charges the actual truck now if you didn't catch the first video on my f-150 lightning you might be like how are you gonna do this? But I'm gonna actually raise the roof. So I've got my little button to raise the roof right now. So we can actually get in and we can talk about. So we've got a cooler. 
we've got a Starlink dish back here, which does actually work inside of the topper, which is really cool because the topper is just fiberglass. So it's like those little satellite domes you'll have on cruise ships and things like that. And then we have a giant battery pack. And the giant battery pack is what's really running everything right here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to jump and take a look at that giant battery pack. But I did wanna show you, you'll see the topper comes up completely and you've got that clearance to that giant battery pack along with the Starlink and the cooler. So that big battery pack right there is called the Bluetti EP500 Pro. And we've been looking at its corresponding app. This connects to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So, you know, we can look at the corresponding app, see how many watts are coming in, everything like that. Like I say, usually it'll bring in a lot more watts, but we're a little overcast right now. It's about to rain. But you'll see what we can do is we can look at this screen and we can see our AC load and our DC load. So we have turned the AC load on. And what is it doing now? If I look at the AC load, it is actually charging the truck. So I can literally just toggle it right here, turn them off, it'll go off, and I can turn it on, and it'll go on. And when I do that, I've got DC coming out here. Now, this is not powerful enough to charge the truck via DC. It's not a DC supercharger or anything like that. So that solar comes in right there. Remember where we made that spark a minute ago? Comes in right there goes to those MC4 connectors and then comes in. And there is also another set of solar that's coming in right there from those two panels on the roof. And all I've got to do, let's do a little screen record right now so I can show you. All I've got to do is switch that AC on right there. I can do that from anywhere. And once I switch that on, you should see if we can get that. There we go. We're up to that 120 volts. And the F-150 Lightning is actually charging. So it'll say plugged in, not charging. And there we go. We are actually charging, which is really quite cool. Now, it's going to take quite a bit to charge because it is only a one kilowatt hour charger that I have plugged in. But let me show you a little bit more about that. All right, so we are charging now. And what we can do is we can kind of trace this guy right here. Comes down, comes around, and goes right into here. And he is actually charging. This will get me on a sunny day about 20 miles or so a day, 15 to 20 miles or so a day, given the solar system we've got right now, but you'll see it's actually charging. Now, important, there are two kind of important variables right here that I think are kind of interesting. Some people go, okay, well, what happens if the truck's not here? Where does the power go? Well, what I've done is I've actually made it so that this can plug into my other solar system that I've got inside of the house, which I'm not gonna show in this video, but this actually, this connector plug can go into the other solar system. Now, what this plug is for, this 120 watt, 120 volt, is if I have the other solar system, which is actually larger than this solar system, this guy's about a seven kilowatt hour battery, but I've got another solar system that's actually larger than this solar system that I could move things out into. But these are all custom built systems. So if I wanted to send power out here into this Blue Eddy unit, I can take it and I can send power into this. Now, again, this is the battery of the truck is so much significantly larger than the, uh, than the battery right here. But again, if I wanted to disconnect this, I can actually plug this in to the inside solar system. Again, it takes a little bit of time here. Not gonna lie. This is not a fast charger. It is a slow charger. Uh, it would take, uh, from where we are right now, we're about 70% right now, it would take about 30 hours to get it. But can you get your little daily commutes here and there? Yes. Am I in South Florida right now where we've got gas shortages? Yes. So is this kind of an interesting option for uh, charging your truck? Yeah, it is. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can send an email to nopantsprofits at gmail.com. This is Richard from No Pants Profits, coming to you from my electric truck, which is charged via solar power. I just showed you the path. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose.
And that is your shirt. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. Have a great one. Bye.